that. Uh, 49 caps for Republic of Ireland. Where yeah. would you say the, the national side is at the moment? Um, where are they? They're in a reasonable position. I mean, look, in terms of qualifying, um, it's going to be difficult. Uh, Germany look as though they're runaway leaders in that group. Austria and Sweden are both good teams as well. So it's going to be tough, but there's still a chance in that respect. Obviously qualified for the last tournament, which was the first time in a long time, which was, which was fantastic. Didn't go to plan um, at the Euros, but hopefully you know, we can get ourselves into that second place and get on the plane to Brazil, which would be great. The Republic of Ireland squad, it's not packed with the kind of household premiership names that it might have been in, in yesteryear. Do you, do you see any sort of a good young crop of Irish players coming through at the moment? Yeah, I do, yeah. Um, you know, James McCarthy's someone who's, who's come onto the scene uh, from Wigan, obviously. Um, there's plenty of talk about him maybe getting a, a move to one of the bigger clubs. Uh, so he's come through and done very well. Um, Seamus Coleman as well of Everton. He's made a big impression since getting to the team. I like Mark Wilson from Stoke. Um, David Ford, I mean, he's not a youngster, but he's done very well in goal since getting into the team. Um, so, yeah, I mean, look, there's good signs. I like Shane Long up top as well. I think he's an excellent player. There's good individual players. It's, it's about getting that right formation. Uh, I'd like to see us be a bit more expansive at times, play a bit more attractive football. Um, you know, Wes Houlihan would come into that, in my, my opinion, as well. Someone who gets on the ball, links the midfield and attack. So I'd like us to be a bit more of an attacking style as well at times. And with Trapattoni, he's quite pragmatic in his style. I mean, there's no question about that. He wants to be quite defensive and um, you know, set his teams up to be difficult to beat, which has been the case. Um, but as I say, it would be nice to see us being a little bit more creative at times. And someone you played with in the national side, what, oof, 11 years ago, still playing and scoring. Is Robbie... that Niall Quinn? <laughs> <laughs> John Aldridge. <laughs> no, uh, Robbie Keane, obviously. Yeah. What, what threat does he still pose up front? Well, he's still, a, he's still a very good player. Look, I mean, he's gone to America now um, and playing his trade there, but he's still an excellent footballer. Um, I mean, over 50 international goals. It's just an incredible record. There's not many, there's not many players that get over 50 international goals. That's More than sure. any Englishman. There you go. You never took on England in your international career, did you? No. Would you have the relish the chance to, to get your boots on and get out there yeah. and play them at Wembley? Yeah, I'd love to have done, absolutely. I mean, the last one obviously didn't end the way everyone would have wanted it to, um, in Dublin, that one. Um, but I'd love to have played England at Wembley, yeah. I mean, I was fortunate to play at Wembley once for Ipswich in the playoff final, um, but it would have been nice if it was an international game against England, that's for sure. How up for it do you think the Irish lads will be? Very, very. I mean, there's a bit to prove, you know, obviously. England have got perhaps the bigger names, the bigger household names, the bigger stars, if you like. Um, so, yeah, I think that, that they'll want to prove a point and try and get one over them, that's for sure. And what do you think Roy Hodgson has brought to? He's been there a year now. What do you think he's brought to the England setup? I think Roy's done a very good job. I think he's brought stability, organisation, um, a discipline to the camp. I think he's put a smile back on the, the players' faces. I think they seem relaxed. I think bringing in Gary Neville was a good appointment as well. I think he's a good link between the players and the, and the coaching staff because he's, he's obviously not like that long ago being a player himself. Um, so I think he's done a, a good job so far, Roy. How do you see the game going? 4-0 uh, Ireland, probably, something like that. That's I don't know. a <laughs> No, look, I, I, think, I think England go into it as massive favourites, no question about that. But... Um, I, I, I wouldn't surprise if, if Ireland get a result. On, um, you know, you said it was quite tight, some of those games that we've seen in the past, and it wouldn't surprise me if Ireland get a result.